And so now I'm going to say what you all came for and that is the exact numbers of each item that we sold in the month of October that was able to gain us over $9,000 worth of income. It's magical when you are close, so get closer, babe. What do you got? Cause I am gold, I'm golden. Hello friends, my last video showed you guys how much money we made back in October and you seem to really like it. And I thought that it'd be super, super informative and interesting for you guys to know just how many units of soap, bath bombs, lip balms, all of the stuff we sell, exactly how much individual units we sold to get to that $9,000 number. If you haven't checked out that video yet, it's the video that I posted right before this one. You can click up here, there should be a link to it right now. That video is full of super, super helpful information. So please check it out if you haven't done that yet. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I talk all about my soap and bath bomb business. If that's something that you're super into, maybe you're on this journey yourself, please subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So this video will not be going into exactly the cogs of each product, which is the cost of goods. I won't be talking about how much a bath bomb costs us to make per se, or even how many bath bombs went to wholesale customers versus selling them full retail. It's simply to show you just how much we had to make in order to get to that revenue. This could either be very eye-opening or terrifying or encouraging, depending on what your goals are in your own business. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. To keep track of how many units we sell, we use the same spreadsheet that we use for our inventory tracking. Every week we track exactly how much inventory we have and then compare those numbers to last week. I created the spreadsheet myself in Excel and it wasn't super hard. I might make an entire video on how to do that yourself. I think QuickBooks does this automatically, but we've just been making all of our Excel spreadsheets are on our own and it's been working for us, but we might have to switch to QuickBooks soon. To give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, let's go take a look at what that spreadsheet actually looks like. As you can see here, I have three tabs, pre-market inventory, post-market inventory, and sales summary. The more I did this, the less I realized I really needed the pre-market inventory tab and I've just been using the post-market tab to keep track of inventory. It's always a great idea to streamline your business and it made much more sense to pick one day to count your inventory instead of two days like I was doing when I was keeping track of pre-market inventory. So when I refer to pre-market and post-market, we had a collection of back-to-back -back markets from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so we were counting inventory before that and then after that. So it just became too much work. So we were just down to one day. <laughs> so for this video, I will not be going into what's in that pre-market inventory tab, but I will go into what's in this post-market inventory tab and sales summary tab. So as you see here, I have a few columns to my leftmost side and they are my product types and the various scents I make in each product. It's a lot, I know, and I'm currently in the process of culling a lot of these scents. <laughs> I'm in the experimentation phase of my business and I really wanted to see what worked in my area. So I've been trying out a lot of different scents, but, but what I've discovered from doing this inventory, I get to see the data right on the spreadsheet. The next columns are numbers that I input from the inventory sheet, which I'll show you in just a second. The date tab is the date when we do the count and the refill column lets us know when we make more of that product. The red cells are the products that we are low on and highlighting these really helps us make our production schedule for the week. For example, we ran out of these lemongrass bath bombs and grapefruit sunrise bath bombs. These will definitely get added to our production schedule. The refill column is an awesome piece of data because by the end of the year, I hope to see how often I make certain scents and this will really help with planning the inventory for next fall and winter. So that is my inventory tab. Let's take a peek at the sales summary tab. This tab is very similar to the post inventory tab in that the first two columns are the product type and the scents listed out. In fact, these two columns are exactly the same. Both have 186 rows and 
The reason for that is because this sales summary page uses an Excel calculation that only works if each row value is the same between the two tabs. For example, after I input the week's inventory numbers in the post market inventory tab, I use a calculation that takes the previous week's inventory number and add any refill I may have done midweek and then subtract the current week's inventory number. I only need to do this once for the first value and Excel is so convenient in that I can drag this equation down the column and it will automatically calculate the value for all the other rows. So you can see how having the first two columns being identical across the two sheets are super important for this to work. It's a little complicated and for those who are not great on Excel, I can see this is going right over your head <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's programs out there that do this automatically, but for those who love Excel, then making a sheet like this is probably super easy for you. I'm actually thinking of making a whole video on how to create this if you are kind of a spreadsheet DIYer like me and like to work with Excel and that video will go step by step on how I created a sheet like this. So on our sales summary tab, you'll notice a few green cells. These are my best sellers for that particular week. Highlighting them really gives me insight on what exactly are my consistent best sellers so I can keep producing them and also which scents are not selling well at all and have to be put on the endangered list. So as you can see here, a clear bestseller is our Georgian based soap. I've mentioned in previous videos how this soap is not only gorgeous and is a really amazing scent, but also really speaks to our local community because of the name. If you want to check out the video on how I actually make that soap, click the card up above. And then after that we have our raspberry vanilla. This soap comes in a set and it's super, super popular. And then third place was a four-way tie between orange patchouli, honey oat, French lavender, and Grapefruit Sunrise at five bars each. And in total, for the week of November the 9th, 2020, we sold 64 bars of soap. And on the flip side, you can see how a soap like our unscented Plain Jane is a very slow seller, <laughs> as well as the coconut vanilla, which is actually surprising to me. But we'll definitely be thinking very hard about making more of either of this scent once the bars run out. So here is our physical inventory sheet that we print out every Monday and we write the date on it so that we know exactly what day we did this on and we can also refer back to the sheet um, if there's ever any weirdness in the numbers and trust me that will happen and has happened. <laughs> We've had to recount things a few times, let's just put it that way. And so now I'm going to say what you all came for and that is the exact numbers of each item that we sold in the month of October that was able to gain us over $9,000 worth of income. In the month of October, we sold 348 bars of soap. 156 shampoo bars, 41 conditioner bars, 215 lip balms, 59 sugar scrubs, 7 bath bomb dusts, which is the crushed up version of these guys, we sell them in jars, 60 candles, 21 face masks, 10 face scrubs, 22 body oils, 45 body butters, and 412 bath bombs. So in total, we sold 1,396 individual products to make over $9,000 in our bath bomb business in October. November will be super interesting because as I mentioned before, a lot of our wholesalers put in their orders at the same exact time. So these numbers will definitely go up. If you're interested in the monthly report, please subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss it. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you a lot. Please give a thumbs up if you did. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for your support and thank you for watching. I've been loving reading all of your comments and all of your feedback. As always, thanks for choosing to follow me on my journey and keep being awesome and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.